美国前劳工部长赵小兰十二号在上海出席中国出口美国最大吨位船舶“蓝莓号”的命名交付仪式。赵小兰在接受凤凰卫视独家采访时表示，美国参议院通过人民币汇率法案，无异于促进中美关系，是非常短期的行为。美国前劳工部长赵小兰出席二十点六万吨号望角型散货船“蓝莓号”的命名交付仪式。“蓝莓号”由上海外高桥造船公司自主研发，并为美国福茂航运集团量身定制，是目前世界上建造的最大吨位号望角型散货船，也是迄今为止中国出口美国的最大吨位船舶。I think China should be very proud of their progress and development over the last twenty years, on track to be the number one shipbuilding nation in the world. 赵小兰在接受本台独家采访时就表示，中美关系是全球最重要的双边关系。之一，美国众议院刚刚通过的与人民币相关的二零一一货币汇率监督改革法案，无异于促进中美关系，是非常短期的行为。This bill will not help to enhance U.S.-China relations, and it's a very short-term、uh, action. I think it's very important that rational minds on both sides. Uh, continue to work positively toward developing and enhancing U.S.-China relations. 按照程序议案，下一步将送至众议院辩论表决，而众议院通过的可能性有多大？赵小兰就表示。This is a controversial issue, but I think that in the long term, people want,、uh, most people want a positive、uh, U.S.-China relations, and there will be leaders who will be responsible and do the right thing. And I think there are some who fear. Uh, retaliatory action from China、uh, because of this、uh, bill, and I think that there will be people who will be concerned about that possibility as well.